Hello again. I'm Quinn, and these are not bonsai. It is my little spider plant collection, which all started from this larger pot you'll see here with multiple plants in it. I was on Craigslist, as I very regularly am, and I found a person moving, giving away a number of free plants, some plastic pots. I think I got one little bonsai pot as well. So quite a little score for just driving eight to 10 minutes away. And I've since propagated it, which you'll see over here. And these have surprised me quite a bit because like I had said in one of my previous videos, part of the reason I want to do this is so that I myself can see their progress. Because I recall I took these off of one of these plants. They'll grow a large runner or just stem, have the tiniest of flowers, and then these little spiderlings or spiderettes come off. And they're typically about that big, so rather small. And I planted these in that pot maybe a year ago at most. So now that I've got them out today, I can see that they're doing quite well. And these over here, poor things, have been really forgotten. So I've watered them, you know, a few times in a year. <laughs> Thankfully, they're in a pretty large pot, so they do have a good bit of space and probably moisture down within the pot. So the fact that I haven't watered has been kind of lucky that I have them all in a rather big pot for my collection of plants. So on that note, these are, again, like my pothos I showed recently, just a great beginner plant. They're so easy to propagate. I did this just sticking them in the soil. I didn't do the water method, which I've heard is, is very um, effective as well. I didn't want to do the transition phase, so I just stuck them in soil and said, I'll see what happens. And I watered them pretty regularly in the beginning. And then at some point I probably stopped remembering to water them pretty regularly and I, I know for certain these have gotten pretty dang dry themselves. So these are very easy. They can go quite some time without water. And I think that's because you'll see when we repot this one, which I'm hoping has a rather interesting future ahead of it. We'll talk about that more once I'm repotting it. But you'll see here that it has these big roots, which to me look very much like spider's legs. And I'm guessing, I have no reason other than the appearance of the roots to believe this, that that's why they're called spider plants. When I first repotted this guy, I wasn't expecting the kind of big meaty leg-like roots that were going to come out of the dirt. And I'll be honest, it, it startled me just a little bit because they really did just kind of look like spider legs coming out of the dirt. So we're going to try to do something interesting with that here. And then we're going to give this, I just purchased these at the nursery. It is a, a little variegated version. And I just couldn't help myself. Let's see, how much was it? $2.99 for what's probably three or four little spider plants that I now know in a year will be this big. And I have a very similar pot to the one the standard green ones are in that I'll be putting it in so that they match for a while. But long term, I'm growing these out to complement these in what appears will be a rather large planting at some point, but we'll figure all that out in the future. Right now, we're just going to see how much fun we can have with these spider plants. So let me get cleaned up here a little bit, and we'll get to repotting. All right, I just want to gently try to get this guy out of this pot he's in now and into a little bit bigger one, give him some more soil to grow with because I feel like he's been a little too thirsty and just not growing very vigorously. I had trimmed his roots pretty good and put him in this very small pot maybe eight or nine months ago 
And what I wanted to do was just to begin exposing some of those big spider-like leg roots I was talking about earlier. Because what I'd like to eventually do, if possible, is to get... I mean, four, four on each side would be the ideal number. <laughs> four of these big, chunky leg-looking roots on each side to look like a big spider walking across my pot. Do I think I'll get four on each side? Doubtful, but, you know, maybe we'll just have an otherworldly type spider. So let's just see if we can't plop him over into this bigger container I have, which is very nice. I got this probably from the thrift store. I remember correctly I got two, one kind of a square one I have over here, and this oval. Um, seems like it's probably a production, doesn't have like a stamp or anything, but for the five or six dollars I probably paid for it, I'm, I'm okay with that deal. And you can see on this other one here, as is my habit, I've left the price tag on and it was a dollar fifty. So not a, not a bad deal for, for a little pot there. So, let's see if it comes out easily. Alright, I think I can get him out now. He's definitely been doing some growing in there. Oh goodness. We may need a larger pot. Well, we'll just have to do some root pruning, I guess. But I can see that what I eventually want to happen, I should be able to achieve. Because you can see here, the little legs, if you will, are growing roots off the bottom quite nicely. So it appears as though I can give them a little chop in places and they will grow roots from that chopped point. Because like I said, these were pretty well chopped when I put them in this pot to begin with, so I guess we're going to have to do some of that today. Alright, let's get him filled in with some soil. And he's got a little more room to grow there, though not a bunch, but the next time I repot him, I plan to get him in a much larger pot, and hopefully we'll begin some of the root work I want to do. Alright, I've done a good bit of poking here. I'll work just a bit more of this soil in 
And then I'll add some of that decorative gravel I mentioned before to just kind of fill in the top spaces as a bit of mo mulch because as you saw the moisture was definitely collecting at the bottom of the pot for the most part and that's where the roots were growing. Just a very fine gravel I'll kind of sprinkle along the top here. Just kind of fill in some of those air spaces on the top. Give me a little more water retention. Because while these can go without water, they do seem to like to be a little moist. Which kind of makes sense. I'd imagine these is an understory plant and a probably somewhat tropical region. So like most plants, they probably don't want to be wet, but they might enjoy some moisture and some extra humidity. So I'll just fill that in around the base there. forgot about my little variegated ones over here. This should be a quick and easy one. I'll just pull them out of their little soil here. Probably separate them. Then put them in this little pot like the uh, standard green version I have growing. And we'll leave them in there for a while and Hopefully they're happy and come next year they'll be a nice little pair with my well I guess my four four spider plants now so nice little group if you will so that, was, that soil was nice and soft considering it was probably planted rather short or uh, recently Trying to be gentle here while I separate these guys. If it is in fact more than one plant. I'm sure they're just knotted up within each other here. I think I popped the root off of that one, but I'm sure he'll be just fine. As long as one of them lives, we'll propagate more little spiderlings later if we have to. Put the big guy in the middle there. Just give him a little soil and this one will be ready to go. We'll get his other newly planted friend over here and we'll give everybody a water and take a good look at him. Alright, let's give everybody a nice little soaking. Try to get some of that soil to settle down in there and moisten up for the first time then after that hopefully it waters nice and easily and retains its air spaces for the little roots to grow into and we get some good growth out of this one because I really would like to start chopping his roots soon <laughs> a bit for our little fellows over here I am quite confident now after seeing his green friends that they will do quite well. It's 
So there's our little spider plants, all planted up and just ready for spring to come and that sun to start shining. Because we are definitely ready here in the Pacific Northwest for a little bit of sunshine. So thanks again for joining me here on Not Bonsai. We'll see you again.